hello everyone in this video we will see how to set up kafka in windows machine without docker so i have written down here four steps so in your step one you need to install java and uh, have the uh, java home and path variable in the uh, system environment variable so i'll show you uh, so go to your uh, properties and go to the advanced system setting and under the environment uh, variable you will get the system variable so here you can set up your java path so uh, this will be your first step and uh, in the second step what you need to do just go to this kafka apache org download and uh, get the binaries so uh, download this i have downloaded this binary that kafka 2.13 and uh, then uh, once you download and extract it get these uh, files and copy this file go to c drive and create a kafka folder and then paste it here so then uh, after that in step 3 what we need to do we need to update some uh, uh, properties file configuration so very first uh, update the server.property file so for that uh, we just go to the kafka config and uh, here we have the server.property file i have created the backup you can also create uh, the backup in case uh, something goes wrong you can just revert it so in the server.property we need to update the listeners information so that will be a plain text uh, localhost so uh, later we will use this as a bootstrap server and uh, i have updated the logs so if we want to just debug some information we can just go and check the logs so this is for the server.property and same for the zookeeper i took a backup and in the zookeeper property i defined the data directory logs so this is it uh, for the config part and then in step 4 now we are ready to test our kafka setup so we will we need to just start uh, the zookeeper and uh, bootstrap server so here we have uh, all the information so under the c kafka so bin windows we have all the batch file so what we need to do just open the command uh, command prompt and uh, we just define that from start use this batch file and get the zookeeper configuration from zookeeper properties file and then this uh, zookeeper server will be just started uh, okay so yeah i believe this is started and now we need to start the bootstrap server uh, let me open another terminal window and here we need to provide the server.property and uh, this kafka server start batch file will use these properties and run the server bootstrap server so okay once okay so we are now in the fourth step so sir kafka server is now started and running then we need to create a topic so for topic also we uh, will open another terminal and uh, here we are saying that run this batch file create the topic topic name and this is our uh, bootstrap server uh, information which we already uh, set up and started so this once both zookeeper and server is running we can easily execute this command so once we execute it is saying okay so your topic is now created so now another step is we will now you can also check uh, the uh, topic information using this describe button 
sorry this describe keyword and now we will post the message uh, into this newly created topic so for that I will open new terminal uh, let's check the topic name this is quick start event so same we are now using this Kafka console producer file and we are saying that uh, in this topic and this bootstrap server produce uh, start producing the data so now uh, once we just now it is uh, open to uh, take a message uh, or produce the message to the bootstrap server so now I'll say hi so now the message is now posted in the last step what we need to do we need to consume the message so here I said F uh, okay let me first uh, open another terminal and this is our producer this is our consumer okay so here what we are saying we are saying use this console Kafka console batch file and from the same topic read uh, everything from the beginning so that's it uh, in this command so once we hit enter what it will do it will read start reading from the same topic and uh, yeah so hello when we say hello it will start so I said hello so we got the hello let me just drop it so that we can see yeah then hi again we got high again so this is it so we we have now set up uh, Kafka in the Windows machine so yeah that's it thank you